I'm panicking because there's cars everywhere. I'm getting stressed. Someone's literally parking behind me. This is so embarrassing. Hi, come now. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing so, so well. I am starting this vlog this morning as I'm about to merge on the A3. So we're really, we're really setting the tone for the vlog this week, but it's a Monday morning, happy Monday. Right, let's actually just concentrate for a second. Yeah, in we go, perfect, and we're on. Happy Monday, I hope you're doing so, so well. Had a lovely weekend. I feel like I'm really channeling Range Rover Mum today in my active wear, my sleep back bun, my sunglasses. But I'm of course a Fiat 500 girly till I die. When the sad day comes, I have to let go of this car. I will definitely replace her with a new Fiat. I just love her, she's so cute, she's so compact, and she just fits in the tiniest of spaces. And I'm not the best parker, to be honest, so I need all I can get. Like, I literally park this Fiat like I'm driving a tank, it's crazy. So I'm heading into Kingston this morning. I have a huge Zara tan to drop off. We actually did come to Kingston on Saturday, but I did not dare bring it with me because I thought, I know on a Saturday the Zara Returns queue is literally going to be out the door. So we're going to go today. I've also run out of my eyebrow pencil, so I need to pick a new one of those up. I really wanted to book myself onto a reformer Pilates class today, but being January, it's just so hard to get booked onto my regular classes. I get it, like there's new people signing up to the gym and, you know, it's a new year, people want to start new things, but it means I can't do my Pilates class, which... I mean, I'm dressed for the occasion today. What the hell? I was hoping that this would kind of manifest it anyway. Last week, me and the girls went and saw Anyone But You in the cinema with Sydney Sweeney in it. And it had really mixed reviews, but I actually really loved it. I can't wait for it to come out on Amazon Prime. I feel like that might be my new comfort film. But anyway, her body is incredible. So we're back on the health kick this week. We are healthy dinners, getting our workout in, getting our 10K steps in. Have I got to go in the left lane? This is where I just get all confused. Well, I'm in the left now, so what does it say? Yeah, well, so I think we can stay here for now. My one goal for 2024 is to look like Sydney Sweeney. I'm obsessed with her. I'm also obsessed with the song. Should we play it? if I'm going to be able to carry this. Zara is definitely going to have to be the first stop on the trip. Do I need a coat? Do you think I'll be all right without a coat? Right, anyway, let's head into Zara. Someone's literally parking behind me. This is so embarrassing. Bye. I'm just in Primark picking up the essentials. I've not seen this little oatmeal colour before. And then I've just found the Bottega dupe earrings in silver. Me and mum picked these up in gold in our last little vlog. Um, so yeah, oh, just noticed that these are two different sizes. I need to swap the oatmeal one, but that was really cute and then just want the little classic pink i'm in jelly cat heaven look at all these little pastries that big birthday cake is so cute i really want one i know they are like kids toys but they are just like the cutest things i've ever seen like oh how much are they 16 pounds i love this little croissant too look it is so cute they just look so happy how much is the croissant? Although I'm sure there is a chocolate one, which is a little bit more me. 25. When I'm Tesco's, Rob wants me to cook this for dinner, so I'm gonna give it a go and just pick up all the little bits now. It looks pretty straightforward. It's literally chicken, chips, and broccoli. Straight to the candle section, obviously. That one is incredible. That is cherry and vanilla. This is my absolute favorite one that Yankee Candle does. If I can get it open. Oh, it's just so fresh and clean. Oh, that one is bubble bath. I always just like a fresh. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, that one looks nice. Toasted marshmallow. Oh, that is good. Oh, that is really good. Oh, what other ones have we got? Oh, chocolate orange. I love a chocolate orange. 
interesting. I'm not a massive fan of that one. Good morning everyone. It is a new day and can you guess where we are? We're my favourite little hot chocolate spot noobs on King's Road. If you watched the last week's weekly vlog, you'll know that I literally just stumbled upon this little place and I've been back so many times since. It's just the perfect little people watching spot. Although I feel like everyone's like people watching me because I'm obviously sat here with my camera. I can actually feel people inside the shop staring at me, which I get, I bet. Do you know, like, it's, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous right now. I'm so sorry that the vlog just cut off yesterday, but basically when Rob gets home from work, I just feel like the evening becomes a little bit of a blur i also get like quite camera shy in front of him which is crazy because i'm literally just sat on the side of the road now with my camera off and i literally don't care but i can't really vlog in front of him and starting a vlog in front of him makes me literally want to i did try and recreate that dinner but honestly it was like an instagram versus reality kind of thing so i'm glad that i did stop vlogging and didn't show you because it was actually one of the most embarrassing dinners i've ever cooked you know especially when you have like a photo that you're going off and then that was what was presented it's just so hard when you're learning to cook but you're also cooking for someone else and like you want them to enjoy it as well i just feel like there's extra added pressure especially because i'm such a fussy eater like you will not believe and i'd be quite happy just to have a tin of spaghetti hoops every night i can't lie today we are starting the vlog obviously in london on king's road this is obviously i said this so many times in all my previous vlogs it's my favorite place in london like i just love it it's so chill it's so cute and it's a beautiful sunny day today this little bit of hair is honestly going to drive me to a mental breakdown it's been growing back forever and it just doesn't it's just a really awkward length now. I just fancy today having a little look around the shops. It was a beautiful sunny day and yesterday when I went to Kingston I went in my gym stuff and I just was like why have you come out dressed like this? Do you ever do that? I came out and I was like all I want to do is go back home because I just hate what I'm wearing. Everyone was in like really cute stuff. I have got my new little Zara faux fur coat on today which I'm absolutely loving but yeah yesterday I just wasn't really feeling the vibe so I didn't really have a proper look around the shops or anything so I thought today we will go and have a little look around. I'm desperate for a new little active wear set so i might have a little look in aloe obviously love zara love brandy so yeah just gonna have a little chill day today so i'm starting off in my favorite little corner when i came here someone was sat in the chair and table opposite me and i thought thank god they're not in my spot because it literally would have ruined my day i know i've shown you this spot so many times but it really is the most perfect people watching spot like, look at her outfit she looks incredible i've been sat here trying to take like a really cute picture of my new fur coat and my hot chalk but these uggs are just so filthy it's ruining the picture like you can see them in the background they definitely need a clean but I don't know can I do that myself because they do have an ugly I don't know I think in like office or something so maybe look oh god and then you've got like where was it this like dirty bit of table and I was like look at the edge of it it's like gross so maybe we'll have to um, take another pic somewhere else also I don't know about anyone else but I have been obsessed with Love Island All Stars this year like this has got to be one of the best series of Love Island and I think it's because we're already invested like in the characters I know they're not characters they're real people but I'm already invested in each and every one of them so it's like literally kicked off straight away I don't know how I feel about Molly and Callum though I can't work out whether their whole like breakup has kind of been staged for the show or whether they actually have have broken up i'm not going to go too much into it because by the time you watch this like a whole week would have passed basically it's only tuesday but she does keep getting quite upset which makes me think like i've heard a theory did they break up like for the show and he's taking it too far and now he's actually interested in georgia and that's why she's so upset because he's kind of like going a bit off script i don't know so i'm obsessed with that i love it literally nine o'clock i'm in bed makeup off pajamas on ready for love island all stars i love georgia still like she just looks incredible i'm sure i said this in my last vlog as well this yeah. literally is going to turn into a georgia still fan page but that little fringe i mean i'm already halfway there with this maybe i should just get it cut into an actual fringe i also really love callum he just seems like a really normal boy like a lot of them in there are a little bit too posy and that for me like that's just not really my kind of type but he just seems really nice and like he's going with the flow molly was kissing chris so i kind of feel like callum does now have the right to get to know someone else surely so i don't know i get i get it she's upset they've been together a long time i'm just interested to see like i actually don't see at this point in time them getting back together i really don't maybe i'll start giving you a little debrief at the end of the day of like what i thought of each episode because i used to love that lady on tiktok i'm sure her name was coco and she would be like love island debrief part one and i just used to love that i used to just love like her opinion on it so my opinions right now are molly and callum aren't getting together callum and georgia probably will get together Arabella, I, that, oh 
oh my god that was it last night the Arabella and Mitch drama I kind of like Mitch I, I kind of like him he's not being like as messy like with people's feelings this time although he is actually Liberty is being quite like badly mugged off poor girl but I think she's just a little bit like she's just got those rose tinted glasses on and I think she does fall in love quite hard and I think her and Jake because they met like right at the beginning of their series like they were coupled up for the whole time I think she's kind of expecting that to happen I think that's why she's not really open to get to know anyone because she's kind of like following the script of what she did in her last series I don't think they'll last I think as soon as someone comes in that's better like more suited for him more kind of like up his street he will definitely jump shit Georgia Harrison does not like Anton I'm sorry like it's so obvious but those are my Love Island predictions as of a Tuesday night I'm literally already counting down it's half 12 so there's eight and a half hours to go so I've come into Aloe and I have fallen in love with literally everything I've got so much stuff to try on I've picked up loads of different sizes because I've actually never shopped in here before so I thought I'll give you a little try on show you everything I picked up I literally feel like the coolest girl in the world in this outfit so I picked up this coat thinking it was going to be a little bit more cropped like sit like this I did pick it up in a size large so it's just a little bit too big for me I've then you have to excuse the colour difference between my face and my body I haven't fake tanned my body in about 25 million years so we're just gonna have to move on I love the shape of this little bra I don't know if you can see that is not my nipple by the way I know it looks like that but it's literally I don't know why they've done that is that like a fake nipple and then I don't know if you can see but the leggings have got like this weird nickeline bit I am obsessed with this little bomber jacket this is kind of what I was expecting for the black like a little bit cropped I think this is a medium so it's a little bit smaller than that one this just looks so cute and then underneath it I've got that same set on but in navy the bottoms these bottoms are a size small and they fit slightly better I mean they've still got that like weird nick of it but no fake nipple this time which is nice but I'm literally obsessed I love it even more done up next stop I love these little outfits that they put together so cute especially with these boots these skirts are just way too short for me they don't really work for me but oh my god I just love these a lot of the sale stuff has gone now which I like I hate when it's just kind of jumble sale in here oh look these are like the um Birkenstock dupes how much are they 50 quid I mean the Birkenstocks can't be that much more expensive I mean not really my vibe but they are cute and they're all fleece lined they feel lovely oh this looks nice oh they had that in grey I bet it looks so cute in cream I might actually try that on I might take that with me the queue for the changing room is just so long so I'm not going to try it on I do love it even with the outfit I've got on today, it's so cute. I mean, the queue to buy now is actually the same length as the queue for the changing room, so I'm probably just going to order this online. But oh my god, I love that. That's a nice scarf too, actually. Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh, let's put that on my list too. It's literally it's got someone's perfume on it. It smells quite nice, actually. But even with this little outfit, so cute. Oh, I found the last of the jumble sale bits. I'm not even going to really bother looking today. Oh. Why is it gone all dark? I can't actually... Oh. I was like, why is it gone all dark? Because I've got these silly sunglasses on. These are so cute. How cute are they? Oh my goodness. What other ones have they got? I just love this like round shape at the moment. I do like these ones, like with the Chanel written on the top. I just don't think the shape is really for me. I think I prefer that shape a lot. Thumbnail. Oh my god, these are so cute. They're literally so me. They've got a tortoise shell pair as well. But I think I just prefer the black. Oh, what do you think? I actually don't mind them. I mean, this is a bit annoying. I actually don't mind the tortoise shell ones. But I just think the black are a classic. Oh my god, I'm literally obsessed. I've literally fallen in love. These are the cutest pair of sunglasses I've ever seen. I think they top those Mimi and Prada ones that I've been looking at. We're almost home. I feel like going into London literally drains every single ounce of energy I have. So I'm so looking forward to getting back home now. I've had such a full on day. Let me actually quickly check my step count because I have walked four miles today. Let's have a little look. I've done 13,000 steps. 
I wonder what that is in miles. Oh, calories, you can tell the calories, 406. So that's not bad. Rob did say about us going to the gym together tonight, but I washed my hair this morning. But then I have got a class book tomorrow and Friday, so it is gonna have to go up literally tomorrow. But I really like the way it's looking today. I didn't straighten it, I've only, oh I, I lie. I did straighten the front bits and just like flick the ends in. But I'm trying just to blow dry it at the moment with my Dyson and I feel like it looks quite nice today. It's five o'clock now. No, it's not, it's four o'clock. Four o'clock, yeah, I was gonna say, well, I can't believe it's already five o'clock. I need to change the clock in my car is like an hour ahead because I didn't change it when the clocks went back, which always throws me off a little bit. I've got a little while till he gets home from work, which is actually quite nice because I just want to go in the room, watch what I want on the TV, chill out. I'm just going to have like a chilled few hours before I gear myself up for the gym. He literally asked four other people before he asked me if I wanted to go. So he obviously doesn't think me very highly as a gym partner. He usually plays tennis on a Wednesday and no one was around. <laughs> And I said, I'll play tennis with you. And he was like, you literally can't play tennis. My hands eye coordination is so poor, it's embarrassing. I was always in, like I'm the least sportiest person you'll ever meet. I was always in bottom set for PE, the swimming classes, whenever I did swimming in primary school, I was always in the shallow end. Like I'm just not really an active girly, if I'm honest. Which is funny now, because I do like the gym now. I do like all my classes, like from my Pilates and my hit classes. But yeah, anything hand to eye, my battery's flashing at me, my memory card's flashing at me, so I'm panicking because there's cars everywhere, I'm getting stressed! God, these clips are always the most chaotic clips ever. Sometimes I watch myself back and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Hi. Hiya, can I please get a chocolate hazel hot milkshake, please? Yeah, with cream. Uh, yes, please. Anything else? That's all. How you think? That's your card. Card, please. Yeah, you can that up. Uh, no, I don't. Oh my god, I've got pay here. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. God, I've never done that before. Alright. Oh, another hand brakes on. Oh my god, what a faff. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I haven't picked up the camera in a few days actually. Rob is going to Australia on Monday and I feel like that's just been looming over me and I've not actually been in, like I've not actually let myself enjoy the week. But I thought, you know what, we'll come out, we'll get ourselves a little Costa. I've been desperate to try their new hot milkshake so I'm excited, I've not tried one today. Obviously I went for chocolate hazel, you know. I'm a hazelnut girly, well I'm a chocolate girly first and foremost. There's a home sense as well just around the corner so I thought we could take a trip there as well. Just have like a really chilled, it's actually the afternoon now. I think it's about two o'clock. Yeah, it's almost two o'clock. I got up this morning, did a gym class, had a little sun bed. So I'm feeling good. God, how many coffees is this man ordering? It looks like the tiniest car as well. Is it our turn now? They shut the window. Okay, here we go. Oh, I've got to do my window down, haven't I? Hiya. Thank you so much. Ooh. Exciting, let's go and park up. It smells nice. It smells like coffee though, which is a little bit concerning. I've literally wanted to try one of these for so long, so I went for the chocolate hazelnut. That is so good. 10 out of 10, one of the best things I've ever tried from Costa. Mmm. It's just so thick and lovely and chocolatey. We'll definitely be getting that again. Let's get out of here and head to Home Sense. Can I go that way or is that the way I came out the drive through yeah, Don't go that way. They've got so much of this boucle furniture in here. I love this. I'm thinking of replacing my desk chair with this stool just to like save a bit of space. I feel like the chair's really clunky. They've got another one here, but I feel like this one might be too low. That is so cute. Does this come off? Is it like a storage? No, that would be practical though if it was. So far I've picked up two Harry Styles notebooks and this candle, how cute does that look? It's giving diptyque vibes by the writing. I'm not 100% on the smell, but I just think it's a cute little decorative candle. They've got so many cute ones. Oh my God, they've got loads of Easter stuff. So cute though, I love all these wreaths, they're so nice. And this little basket. 
Oh, if I had a little baby, I'd buy her that for her Easter egg hunt. Oh my God, things like that get me so excited. So we're back home, a very unsuccessful home sense trip. I've never been to that one before. That was the one in Croydon and I can't lie, I didn't really love it. There wasn't really much in there. I obviously love the Harry Styles notepads, but I couldn't work out whether there were lines in them, whether they were blank. And then I thought I don't really want a blank notebook because I'll be writing all like this. And then I thought, do, when do I even write anything? I never write anything out. All my lists and stuff are done in my notes app. So I thought, just leave that. I also loved that candle, but it didn't smell very nice. So put that back. But I've come home and I've had a few parcels delivered. So I thought, we'll unbox those together. And I have some really exciting news. We've just hit 1,000 subscribers, which just feels so surreal to me. Like, I just can't believe it. it I honestly, I've been working towards this for so, so long. So to actually finally hit that goal just feels so amazing. So I really appreciate everyone that subscribed, anyone who watches my videos, just all of you. I love you so, so much. Obviously, if you do watch my videos and you haven't subscribed, then please, please do, because I would love for you to stick around. So I am going to do like a big collective haul of just little bits, because I've just picked up like loads of little random bits from like different shops and stuff. And I think it'd be nice to do like a huge collective haul, but I'll just sneak a few bits in now. Starting off, I've already opened this one because I had to show my mum. This is from Adenola and I saw Chintzy Aware this. So they were actually sponsored by Adenola. This video, unfortunately, is not. If you're new around here, anything that Sophia or Chintzia or Molly Mae wears, I just have to order. I'm just obsessed with all three of them. It's, it's literally my personality. So I saw Chintzia in this grey knitted Adenola jumper and I just had to have it like it is so cute I've already tried it on and my mum was super jealous she wants to go and order herself one I picked it up in a medium it fits amazing it's so heavy the quality is just incredible I tried it on with just a pair of jeans and Uggs and it looked chef's kit so tune into next week's vlog and you'll probably see me living in this because i just love it and then i just picked up a few bits from zara it's a very very small haul i'll show you the thing i picked up in the sale first so it's this really cute broidery white skirt i just think this is going to be perfect for the summer so cute so classic i did actually order this last year when it was full price but i think i ordered it kind of towards the end of the year and i thought well i'm not realistically i'm not going to wear this in october and by next year I want something else and I was just so gutted and then it came back when the sale was on so this was originally $35.99 I picked it up in a size small and this went down to $9.99 for $9.99, this is an absolute bargain. I'll link it down below for you because it might still be in the sale, keeping everything crossed for you. I already have like a few holidays for the summer book, so I know that I'll get so much wear out of this. With like a little Zara vest and like some sliders. Just so cute. I love that. And then I just picked up this long sleeve grey bodysuit. It's actually very similar to the Adenola one that I have on right now, but I think I actually prefer the lighter colour. What do you think? I actually think I prefer this one. And this one was a lot cheaper. This one was only $15.99. Again, I picked this up in a size small. I actually tried this on in store, so I'll put a little picture up for you because I'm sure I took one of me in it. I just think this is so wearable. I wear this one all the time and you know what I'm like. If I'm living in something, you best believe I'm going to buy it like 10 times over. I've literally just realised my flannel's been in the corner of that video. That is really disgusting because it's actually covered in makeup. But then I also don't understand the girls that don't use a flannel set their makeup off like there is nothing better at the end of the night than a hot flannel like just on my face like even just the smell of it i love flannel pro flannels over here anyway sorry about that because it's really dirty it's caked in makeup but i promise i do wash it and i have loads of flannels on the go do you know what i mean but anyway don't flannel shame me please i'm actually going to close off this week's video here as i mentioned earlier today rob is going to australia for two weeks he's literally leaving me for two weeks which i just don't know how i'm gonna cope we live in each other's pockets we do everything together so i'm gonna miss him so so much I would have gone with him, but he's actually going to visit his brother. So I think it's nice for them to just have some time, like boys holiday vibe rather than me tagging along. Do you know what I mean? So it would be so, so nice for him. And two weeks, he really deserves a break. He works so, so hard. So he's going to have the best time. But yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm really present. I know it's, he's only going away for two weeks. I'm acting like he's literally moving to Australia. But I just want to spend like the last two days with him and be completely present and not trying to be vlogging as well. Just like spend just some time, the two of us, 
podcast before he goes away so I hope that's okay I know I'm cutting this vlog a little bit short but thank you so so much for watching especially for making it all the way to the end I love you millions and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>